G'day guys and gals and welcome back to another game of Vids Vidya. On uh, today's one, we are going to be concentrating more on making Skyrim look prettier. There's that one, and then Realistic Waters. Rightio, first things first, Smim to hit the download with the Mod Manager button. Now while we're waiting for that, we're going to go to Realistic Waters and do the same thing. Files. We're going to install Realistic Waters 2. Click that with the Mod Manager. Yep, and it's going to start doing its thing. Now at this point, we can pretty much close that down. Come to our mods here. Oh, sorry, it is still downloading. So when it finishes downloading, uh, we will, I'll show you how to do the install. Okay, the download has complete, completed and we're ready to install. Both these mods come with what's called a faux mod. And what that is, is it's an installer script. Bam, you're faced with this. They give you this nice, easy little installer script to follow and you just select what options you want. So if you're on PC and you don't want everything, it'd be the custom one that you want to select. So you hit custom and then go to the next option. And now it's going to give you all these options of all the different things you can put in or not put in it changes quite a bit. Now I'm just going to click all the recommended because they're the ones that I want. And now we're going to hit merge plugins. Now it gives us another option here. Special edition merge plugin will be installed, which obviously you have no choice but to select that one. Hit next. And it's installed, ready to be enabled. So we're going to hit that. We're going to enable it. We have a notification here. That's just letting me know that this one's finished. And now we're going to move on to Realistic Waters 2. We're going to click that to activate it. And now we've met with the same thing. So we can, uh, with this one, again, same thing. We can do half resolution. Uh, smaller water droplets, E and B rain, extra ambience. So these are optional textures. So I'm happy with full resolution. Smaller water droplets would be nice and E and B rain. So I'm going to pick that one. Hit next and it's installed. Now I'm going to activate it. And now it's activated. And here we go, we have our first conflict. Uh, there are unresolved file conflicts. So right here we have realistic waters is conflicting with static mesh improver. So we're gonna hit more. Okay, they're both trying to change the same thing. Uh, what file are they changing? Realistic waters, show. Static mesh improver before. Here we go, one conflict file. What is this? Okay, so they're both trying to change the flat log in the creek. And this one, again, the flat log in the creek. So at this point, you decide which mod do you want to win the conflict. Um, for me, I think Realistic Waters should win this one uh, before, after, before, oh yeah, yeah, before, and this one gets loaded after, And then whatever versions, in this case, it's going to be any version for both of them. 
we're going to hit save and that's it the conflict has been resolved and we're going to deploy the mod there we go and just to be on the safe side dashboard we're going to run fins update fins behavior and we're all good and exit no there we have it we've just installed realistic waters 2 and fin uh, not fin sorry realistic waters 2 and smim and there you have it guys the mods are installed the conflicts have been resolved and in my opinion anyway, Skyrim looks and feels a whole hell of a lot better. Well, with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, mod the games that you want to mod the way that you want to mod it. But don't forget to have fun. Bye!